Uh, replacing the Sanderson casement window crank, it's not real difficult. Actually, it's really easy. Uh, worst thing about doing this is the cost of them. They're a little pricey. Um, but this one here, it, it wants to crank out, but it won't crank in. And sometimes it grabs, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, there's a little gear inside there, and I think it's just wore out. It's a pretty old window, but, um, you know, Anderson's hold up good, and you can still get parts for them. So uh, if your handle's got a set screw, loosen that, pop that handle off. Uh, you shouldn't have to take that plastic cover off of the front. If you do, it just pops off. Um, you kind of got to tug at it. But what you want to do is get under this piece of trim here. Um, should be just a couple trim nails holding that in there. Uh, pop that trim loose. Pull it off. Just be careful. You don't want to break it. Um, get that out of the way. And then uh, you can see the mounting screws on the back. Usually there's only uh, on these type uh, three screws on the back side. Like I said, if you have to take that cover off, you can pop it off with a screwdriver or something. But uh, just take those mounting screws out and then... Uh, when I got this thing loose, I can just move it around. You can either uh, pull it back to this. Uh, there's a spot on the track there uh, that will let you pull that arm off uh, right there. Or you can just run it clear out the end either way. Uh, they come off real easy, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Get that thing out of the way uh, and uh, find the part number on there somewhere and get you another one. Uh, this is the new one. I, I actually found one at the supply house, but they only had one. There's a left and a right on these. Uh, this is actually, uh, from the inside, it looks like it's on the left, but it, they, when you order them, uh, you got to order them like you're looking at it from the outside. So this one is actually uh, a right hand. So anyways, long story short, the uh, new one goes in just like the old one came off. Uh, you can see that gear there uh, on the old one. It was kind of stripped out. So uh, just get your mounting screws back in. If you have a, if that plate's loose, just snap that on. Uh, get your arm back on there. Uh, you can either use that track uh, spot there in the middle or slide it on from the end, whatever works for you. And then um, yeah, just give it a little tester, but that's all there is to these things. So uh, what you want to do is, after you get that on, just pop your trim back in there. A couple little trim nails. Uh, the new one actually comes with a couple mounting screws that go through that, that cover plate there on the front uh, to help, a little extra help hold it down. So the old ones didn't have it. The new ones do have it. So I'm going to stick those in there. Uh, and that's it. Um, like I said, the worst case uh, uh about these is is the price um this one i bought at the store for like 44 bucks the other side i had to order for shipping it was over 50. um but you can see that that's pretty much it so a nice thing about anderson is you can still get parts for them even on this old window so you just got to watch out you know make sure you order them when you're looking at the outside as far as left and right uh, the old one should have a part number on it somewhere on that arm, but if not, measure from the, the break of that arm to that pivot point. Uh, that's usually what they go by is the size. This one was actually 8 and 3 eighths. You might be able to just eyeball it and get the right one um, if you measure it properly there. So, uh, like I said, that's, that's pretty much it. But you got to remember that right and left on the inside – is not the way to order them. Look at it from the outside. That would be left, and this would be right. That's how you order them. Uh, if you need both, I guess it doesn't matter. So, uh, anyways, yeah, real simple project, and I uh, hope that helps.